Hey Aliupa and welcome to my big Swedish adventure. I'm riding the length of Sweden from north to south. In the previous episode, I had a pretty tough day, but I was saved by some wonderful Swedes. And in this episode, I promise a lot less whining about mosquitoes. Good morning. Guess what? It's not raining. Yes, but I can still hear mosquitoes. There's one in this room that I could not get last night. Little ninja mosquito. I am so incredibly thankful for this family and this roof. <laughs> Woo! Today's a new day. You haven't had a biker come by in 30 years. No, no one that stayed. <laughs> That's... That one stayed for 17 days, so, so, okay. not so I think that makes up for it. So every, th <laughs> every 30 years you get a couple of wet bikers through exactly, here. Exactly, yeah. so n next time I'm 77. Yeah, that's funny. Andreas, min vän, tack så jättemycket för allting. Du var jättesnäll. Och så lite. Ja, Jättekul att du kom. Vi ses någon gång ja. fram i framtiden. Precis. Ja, jag hoppas det. Men På Instagram och inte annat. På Instagram, ja, ja, ja det ska jag göra. Ja, men ha en bra sommar. Ja, och uh, ja, heja Sverige. Ja, yeah, go. So how many more days do you have till you finish the European Divide? Six. Six days. Six days. And yeah. when did you start it? First of April. First of April. How many miles? How many kilometers? Uh, Total. So far. Or... The how's how long's the whole thing? Seven thousand six hundred. That's a big deal, man. That's a lot of miles. I'm yeah. proud of you. You're only twenty one, right? Yeah. That's so cool, man. <laughs> you get to the end of the road and you just like let out those tears of joy. Yeah, I'm sure I will. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So good to meet you, my good friend. Thanks a yet to meet you. Have a nice trip. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Hello! <laughs> oh, it's always hard to say goodbye, even if you've only known somebody for, you know, 12 hours or so. I kind of want to hang out with them all day. <laughs> but I've got to get down south, and I'm a long way. So here we go. I'm so grateful to be warm and dry and well fed. Oh, yeah, I didn't bring. <laughs> He just yelled at me. I don't have my backpack with me. <laughs> Got a little distracted. That might have been important to have my uh, hydration pack and all my gear. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Oh, yeah. En gång till. Hey, all. What was I saying earlier? Oh, I'm just so grateful. So grateful. Such a warm, kind, generous family. And I needed it. I was desperate. I was miserable. Yesterday may have been one of the most miserable days I've ever had on a bike trip. And today, I am going to get off the European Divide, ride some pavement. And the reason is because I don't want to get stuck in mud. I think it's still probably really wet. And my new friend, who I haven't met yet in real life, Bike Touring Mike, is gonna come meet me at a town down here, which is exciting. There's a little bit of blue up there in the sky. I really don't wanna deal with rain today. That was kind of traumatic yesterday. Woo, no flatties, no crashies, no whammies, no rainstormies, and hopefully less mosquito ease. I feel so much better, so relaxed. Yesterday morning I was just tense. I was hunched over my bike, my shoulders hurt. I was just so, uh. It's amazing how quickly I can develop an emotional connection to a complete stranger. Somebody like Andres and his family who, you know, immediately is like, okay, we got you. You can stay in this. So much to guy and we can give you blankets and whatever you need and we'll feed you meals and we hung out all night just talking and it's like we're we've been friends for a long time you know and I'd never met him before and good chance I'll never see them again you know this is pretty far from Colorado but I'll never forget them 
It's these moments on bike tours that stick with me forever. You know, I love the beautiful roads and the scenery and all that, but it's the people. Definitely the people. You know what this is? It's my shadow. Oh, it just disappeared. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's sunny. It's sunny enough to cause shadows. Woo! <laughs> wow, there's quite an echo in these trees. I like warm weather, and I cannot lie. I don't want to get too excited about things and jinx myself, but I'm wearing sunglasses right now and I feel really good about it. Hello, sun. You know how to say sun in Swedish? Sol, S-O-L, sol. Solen skiner i dag. That's a little line from a Skånish <laughs> summer song. Skåne is the southern part of Sweden where I lived. Y'all prat a little skånska. I have the skånish accent. And kind of like in the United States, where we make fun of southern accents, all the Swedes also make fun of the southern Swedish accent. Oh boy! Vilket vackert väder Sulen skinner ett dag Just rode by this patch of wild lupin flowers, lupines, and I could hear the, the bumblebees buzzing. And I remember one of my very first days in Sweden, my Swedish dad, Jöran, taught me how to say bumblebee in Swedish, and it's humla. I'll never forget that word. It's funny how we associate those memories, and they're so visceral, and they can just come back, you know, 20 plus years later. I'm like, oh yeah, there's the humla. Here at a fork in the road, and this is kind of crazy. Yokmuk is 54 kilometers away. So that means if I had stayed on the road that I was riding on my way out of Yokmuk, I could have been here in 30 miles. But instead, I went on a little death march. <laughs> uh, but it, I'm glad I did it. I really am. But now I'm going to Ovid's Yaur. That way, 60 miles. I'm in the little village of Kobdalis right now, and this is where I was hoping to get to yesterday when I woke up. I'm like, okay, this town is 50 miles away. Maybe I can find accommodation. So this was going to be the spot where I was gonna search out something, and it's a tiny little town. And guess what? There's snow behind me. Looks like a ski resort or something up there. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's very quiet. I don't know where everybody is. I don't know if I would have found a place to stay. Doesn't seem like there's anybody here. Might be just like a winter ski town. This might not last long, but I have sunshine on my arms and it feels so good. Ah, I love warmth. I love dry warmth. 
and mosquitoes in my mouth. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful sky. Woo! I'm singing in the sun. I'm singing in the sun. <laughs> you can't stop me from singing. I've done this on every single bike tour. I sing to myself just to put a smile on my face. And I don't know, it's just fun. You know, that's why we sing in the shower. It's fun. And a lot of times I sing Christmas carols because those are the very few songs that I know pretty much all the words to. I'm not one of those people who knows, who can memorize songs. Like I'll know a few lines, few choruses, and that's it. But Christmas carols, oh yeah, you got me with those ones. And Swedish ones too. Hey, tomte gubba slå i glasen och låt oss lustiga vara. This right here is a really nice moment. I'm doing something that I didn't think I'd be able to do, just sit and eat something without mosquitoes hammering me. I'm thinking these larger roads have less mosquitoes. It's the deep woods that really are mosquito infested. So I am so happy. I'm just sitting here eating a wrap that I picked up at the Ica, the grocery store. And the sun is shining on my face. Oh. Gosh, what a great day. Seriously, what a great day. Yesterday, remember when I said that when the sun does come out, how good it's gonna feel? And you know what? It's gonna feel so good once the sun finally does come out. That moment is right now, and it feels incredible. I've been riding through the woods for a few hours now. It's just me and the trees and maybe some trolls and my thoughts. I always do my best thinking on the seat of my bicycle. And I was thinking that if I had gotten a hotel on Friday night in Yokmuk, which I was regretting not getting when I was camped out in the rain, if I had done that, I most likely would not have met Andreas and his family. And it just goes to show that life always seems to work out. You don't know how it's gonna work out in the moment when you're in the thick of things, but it does, it, it seems to work out. And I'm really grateful for that. And so sometimes I can get all stuffy and fussy about not getting big miles and not staying on my predetermined itinerary. And that goes for this ride or daily life, you know, but it always works out. <laughs> it does. You're going to be where you need to be. You're going to end up where you're supposed to be. This E45 road has turned out to be better than I could have imagined. There's really not much traffic. It's pretty much only people and campers going slow, just on vacation, enjoying life and giving me plenty of room when they drive around me. Today has just been easy going in a lot of different ways. And I needed an easy day. And you know what, it's Sunday. Sundays are meant to be easy, right? It is time to get off my bike and learn something about the local culture. I'm in Arvidsjaur now. I'm about 80 miles into my day. And I'm in the Lapstaden. And this is an old 
Sami Village. It's like an open air museum. It doesn't cost any money. I walked right in. Check this place out. Fascinating. These are the houses that they lived in. And I still think to this day live in similar houses like this. The houses are made entirely of wood. No nails. Like a Lincoln log cabin. I find this information the most interesting. It talks about how the Sami people have been herding reindeer for 1,500 years. And even today, there are still three groups of Sami who still actively herd reindeer. Infart. It's time for a young boy Ryan humor. When I first moved here, I thought this was the funniest sign and they're everywhere. You know what it means? Entrance. It's not a dirty word like it kind of is in English. Infart. Check this out. I am at Sevilla. It's a hamburger chain all over Sweden. And I usually don't come here because they don't have vegetarian options, but now they have a soy burger. And I'm so excited to be eating this. It's been a, been a great day. And I'm celebrating with a soy burger. And check it out. This is called lingon. They have this lingon juice. Lingon berries are very famous in Sweden. And uh, pretty much you can only get them over here. I can't really find them in the United States, but lingon berries. Det var gott. That was really good. Now my belly is full. I got some supplies over there at the grocery store. I'm gonna keep on riding a little bit and meet up with my man, Mike. I'm gonna go another 12 miles and going to Arbor Tresk. And that's where Mike is gonna get off the bus. He's taking the bus from where he lives and he's gonna meet me and it's gonna be great. I cannot tell you how glorious this evening sun feels on my skin. Careful, Mr. Reindeer. Look at that. A white reindeer. Watch out for traffic. Okay, I've made it to Arbotresk. This is where Mike's gonna get off the bus. And he told me there's a place to camp, like right in the middle of town. This is a tiny town. I have not even seen a human. I don't even know who to pay at this campsite. I am very thankful for today. I needed a day like this after the last couple days. I remember drinking this beer when I was an exchange student. Norlands Gould, gold of the north. <laughs> and now here I am in Norland. I'm gonna go walk down toward the lake. This looks beautiful. Check this out. Nice little dock here. That's what I'm talking about. Peaceful, peaceful. I'm just so happy to be in Sweden. I really am. You know, yesterday and half of the day before that, I was too stressed out really to enjoy myself. It was just pretty uncomfortable. Now I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm in Sweden. This is awesome. I'm on vacation, kind of. You know, I'm working, but like I came here because I love Sweden and I want to get to know it better. Sweden holds a very special place in my heart, and I'd always wanted to get to know it from north to south, and here I am, making dreams come true. All these wildflowers here smell so good. I feel like I'm walking in a greenhouse full of fresh flowers. Oh, check it out. This is the bus that is delivering Mike. Dun, dun, dun. There he is! It's Mike! <laughs> How you doing, hey buddy? Good to see you. All right. 
Vad bra! Du har kommit! Till myggen. Till myggen, ja. Do you have this many mosquitoes where you live? No, no, no. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I live out by the coast, so, so we don't hardly have anyone. Really? I'm, I should go that way then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and look at this bike. You got the big beefy tires. Raw! Ready. I'm so glad to meet you. Det är trevligt att träffas. I verkligheten. All right, he's got his pants on. <laughs> Smart guy. Now get some long, long arms on. Maybe a hat. <laughs> the mosquitoes are out in force. So what are we doing here? Yes, yeah, attach this thermosol to my gas canister and and that takes care of the mosquitoes. Hopefully, Hopefully. in a couple of minutes. <laughs> anyway. All right, work your voodoo magic, little thermocell machine. So my friends, I've been talking about bike touring Mike. Here he is in the flesh. We're going to ride bikes together. We're going to have fun. Tell everybody about your channel and what you do. Yeah, uh, I mainly focus on uh, trips around the Scandinavian countries up here in, in Sweden, Norway and Finland. Uh, but I also go on trips in Europe, like France, uh, Spain, and so on. Nice. And uh, right yeah, on. That's what I do. <laughs> that's what you do. That's great. I'm excited to ride with you. He said he has something special in his bag for me. Yeah. What do you have? I have a couple of gifts for for Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> he, he found his beans, but oh wow! There's my black beans. More. I couldn't find them, and you brought them to me. Thank and you. And I also brought some Swedish. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite chocolate. chocolate. Oh, you're the man. Okay, good night, min ven. We're gonna get some sleep and wake up in the morning. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully, no, uh, no more eager mosquitoes. Eager to get going and <laughs> yeah, and hopefully not that much rain tomorrow either. So. No rain, no rain, no whammies, no whammies, no rainies. And look, it's 11 p.m. right now. Look at that sky. Woo! <laughs> and the next trick is gonna be getting in there without letting in. A ton of mosquitoes. Let's see if I can do it. Just want to open it up a little bit and then just kind of dive in really quick. Let me close it up really quick. Ah! I seem to be safe. There's some other bugs in here, but they're not mosquitoes. Oh my god. After a day of relatively few mosquitoes, they sure came on strong at the end of the day here. I'm enjoying sitting here watching them try to get in my tent. Haha, <laughs> suckers! Here it is, my friends. My first black bean Swedish burrito. Hello there, and thank you for making it to the very end of this video. You get a high five. I am here to say, hey, thank you for watching my videos, but also, if my videos bring value to your life, if you love them with all your heart and soul, or even just a little bit of your heart and soul, please consider joining my Patreon. You will help keep this channel alive, but you will also get stuff. You will get early release videos with no ads, which is very cool. And I sometimes do Zoom calls with my patrons. You will have direct access to me through Patreon to ask me any question you want. And like I said, you're keeping this channel alive. And also, hey, I wrote a book. It's called The Long Way Home. It's about my very first adventure from Honduras to Colorado. And it talks a lot about how it inspired me to live an interesting life, to say the least. My mom loves it, so maybe you'll love it too. I will link all this down below. But more than anything, thank you so much for watching my videos. You are awesome. Now it's time for you to get off that couch and get out there.